So several people have asked me about how to make a, uh, a carrot nose for a snowman. So I'm going to make uh, a couple things here. I'm going to make a, a head for the fun of it. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to color different pieces on it. So I will go ahead and make this on the front. And go with the head shouldn't be huge. Call it six inches diameter. That's about right. Um, let's finish it and extrude it. Let's get all these views turned off. They're kind of annoying. And extrude eighth of an inch. That'll do. And let's see if it'll let me make it white. I'll give it this kind of gray color. Nah, I don't like that. Let's see if it gives me something else to work with. I think that's as good as it gets. Kind of annoying. Wonder if I picked the wrong side. Well, let's see. I'll click this and then I'll edit appearance and I'll save this kind of funky white. Nope, backside's prettier. Whatever. What do I know? So uh, let's sketch on the front of it. And I'm not trying to do a perfect job. I'm going to raise some black eyes off of it. And this is almost borderline creepy. And I can easily make them the same diameter, but I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet again. Finish my sketch, let's extrude both of these. Extrude them out an eighth of an inch. Perfect. Finish, let's make them black eyes. Let's cancel that. I know there's a way to do just this. Part one, add appearance to face. So now it's gonna hit black. Oh, there we go. So I wasn't aware of that. Just learned something new. Get black, little chunks of coal, whatever, I don't know. All right, so now we've got a face and we're happy. So I'm going to go make a new part, create part of the studio, and we're going to put a carrot together and pop it on his nose. So uh, as always, start with the sketch. And I'm going to make the base of the carrot, I think. I really am not sure what I'm doing. Now this one, I actually am going to dimension. I'm going to make it three quarters of an inch. I can always come back and change it later. And we're done. And I believe the best way to do this now is to um, extrude a draft. So let's go you extrude. Uh, let's see if I can find draft on here. I know it is here. I've seen it before. Blind one inch. No. Add, I change this to blind, solid, draft, neat. So we gotta go the other way. And 30, too much, 15, not enough. And huh, it's not like when I do that. 
Interesting. Um, so it's not through all, it's uh, next, I guess. Uh, no, it doesn't like that either. Well, let's go with blind and let's go with a two inch nose. Ooh, wow, that looks pretty good. All right, two inch, 10 degrees. Not the faintest idea what I'm doing, but that wouldn't be the first time. So let's change this edit appearance and let's make it nice bright orange. And let's hit home, it's home. And let's go over here and make an assembly. Now I really don't know what I'm doing again on this. My assemblies have been whatever. Okay, so let's insert, put this face in here. Right there, no idea what that just did. And let's put the carrot nose in here. And actually, I think I can just put it right there. And I'll put it over here. And we'll call that good. And we'll right click on this and say, uh, fix so it doesn't move. And then let's spin this sucker around. Definitely want to move this sucker out and over. And up. That I do. That looks pretty good. Looks about where I want it. Let's see if I can do a planar mate here. What are my other options? Slider, no. Cylindrical, no. Pen slide, no. I think planar is our best bet. So you are going to match up with you. Funk. Check. I got my snowman with his face. Front, top. Yeah, that's the one I want. And yeah, so there's the carrot nose. Uh, you could also have done the carrot nose with a loft, um, but you would have to make another plane with a point out here. Um, and you still gotta put in maybe a mouth on there. I don't know, maybe a big O mouth or a big smiley mouth. I don't know, but it gives you an idea of what to work with. So that's it. Good luck.